over here. How y'all doing on this Wednesday night? We got some more Worlds Collide we're going to grind through. Yeah, uh, the key for or the the fancy flight in flight report is tonight at eight central or eight eastern, so in like thirty minutes. Uh, if they talk about keyforge, we might switch over to it and just like watch it together. If you guys want to do that? Um, I don't know if there'll be a long thing about keyforge or if they'll say anything relevant about keyforge. If it seems like it's it's whatever, then we can just switch back to playing. But yeah, or if you guys just want to like keep playing games, that's fine with us, and we'll catch up on the news later. Yeah, or uh, whatever. But we will need someone to watch the stream and just like clue us in, like hey. Hey, it's keyforge stuff's happening. Then we'll key go. Forge, yeah, I don't so. think it's like the announcement, right? I don't, I don't know if what they yeah. actually said they were going to talk about tonight, because uh, there's a separate keyforge like dedicated stream this weekend at some point. I, I forgot the date. I think it's Saturday. It's either Saturday or Friday. So that's totally dedicated to keyforge. Yeah. I think they're talking about the the new set, the fifth the fifth set, the Wrath of Eddie. Be pretty good. We'll be uh, reaction. Yeah, I can get a gift. <laughs> oh, I can't. I can't do the only body uh, shake. <laughs> um, Saturday morning. Okay. Yeah, we'll be react streamers whenever that comes out. So we we'll announce it today and show matches. For, okay, cool. Yeah. So we'll we'll try to switch over to it if no, someone clues okay. us in. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, um, yeah. We did wanna we did wanna uh, comment on it. So um, also, if you're watching this on YouTube, smash that subscribe button. Hit it. Um, Just hit it. It's so, real easy. It's so easy. So, it's easy. so easy. Did I get it right? <laughs> well, we gotta make the face though. Uh, I was on Help from Future Self. I don't know when uh, it's coming out. I think maybe this Thursday. But um, I recorded with uh, Blake and uh, Scuzzy Gruen. Um, so uh, that's uh, just a small announcement there. That was a lot of fun. Um, they made an announcement on Twitter today. I was gonna hold my tongue until uh, they had actually announced it. But Scuzzy threw it out there on Twitter. So um, that's coming out at some point. And I basically just. If you've watched the stream, I basically just talked about the stuff that we show on the stream, um, but uh, we we compared notes on mass mutations so far. Cool. So. Yeah, that'll be great. Can't wait to listen to that. Um, it's almost as easy as hitting that Twitch Prime button if you're watching us on Twitch. <laughs> so easy. Uh, what deck am I? You're like? on Director P. Fallmark. Okay. <laughs> you talked about personal checks, Pog. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Uh, take it take it from old uh, Nathan. When you're playing Keyforge, don't open a joint bank account. I don't care how much you love that person. Do not open a joint bank account. <laughs> you just go on and talk about that for the next 30 minutes. Like, well, thanks for the talking about Keyforge. Yeah. <laughs> Another thing. <laughs> I'm going to talk about it. Don't get me started on adjustable rate mortgages. Tell me about overdraft fees, Nathan. <laughs> one star peeps, tier one sub, so 14 months. Thank you, man. YouTube VOD watchers will Appreciate never love that. you like Twitch viewers. That's that's true. You're probably true. Yeah. It's t Twitch. Uh, it's it's crazy because uh, on uh, Twitch, you know, we you'll have like 50 people watching, and then most of the people are chatting, and you'll go look at your stats at the end of the night, and you know, we'll, you will see like you know 100 unique viewers through the night, 78 unique chatters. You go to YouTube, video has like 300 views zero comments so yeah it's just like a totally different experience yeah so now we didn't buy any more decks not yet at least tells bank stories man i got some bank stories good lord auto subprime loan for buying twitch viewers yes absolutely <laughs> yeah twitch is a lot of fun we get, to, we get to hang out we get to chat yeah. directly with our audience that's the best part about it yeah yeah it's the the feedback loop right yeah that's what that's what makes it so fun like i, I wouldn't find nearly as much enjoyment of just making videos yeah and posting it, it's them. like a different and i would like i honestly when it comes to something like that i'm like such i don't want to put something out there that isn't polished right so whereas on twitch uh, I'm just expecting to make mistakes. Yeah, we can just be unpolished. I just kind of like roll with it. But like, if I was like making something concise for YouTube in like in an hour, um, or sorry, like in in like a ten minute time frame, I would. I I don't know how long I would spend working on it. So, let us know what your favorite deck in the comments right now on YouTube. <laughs> I'm a literal god gamer. I can never lose with this deck. <laughs> Tomorrow, boys, we win a vault tour. Plus, you guys have this parasocial relationship with us. That's pretty cool. Uh, let's roll. Comment on your next deck deck will be 100 sass. If you don't drop a comment in Twitch chat right now, or in, uh, in YouTube is, right yeah. now, your next three decks will be 60 sass. 
Cursed. All right. Uh, I was first. Nope. You were I first. rolled a ten. All right. So the uh, the deck that I am playing is actually a very interesting deck um, because it was our deck that probably had the most uh, director P fall mark. Uh, I'll just show the deck list real quick. Um, I'm going to point out that there are two Mavericks in this deck and a Legacy. Um, so that's just kind of like, uh, you know, fairly rare just uh, by itself. It's got like some collector value just for that reason. Um, the two Mavericks are Mind Fire and uh, Curse of Vanity, which I don't, they don't really have any synergy together. But... Pira, uh, Pira, thank you for continuing the gift sub from Playmore. Hey, love to see it. I appreciate it. Uh, I am going to say Sarian, and I'll play Golden Spiral, uh, which is the legacy. It's a very good legacy. Yeah, I it's agree. Like, it's pretty good. I'll say Shadows, I'll play Miasma Bomb and Nexus. All right. I will also say, say Shadows. I'm going to play Seeker Needle. I am going to play Curse of Vanity. This has a capture icon on it, but I don't get to do anything. And then I also get to draw a card with it. Um... And uh, then I get to exalt a friendly creature, an enemy creature. I don't have a friendly one to exalt. I am going to Lights Out Nexus to balance it. Uh, take that Amber. Uh, and then I'm going to play Perplexing Sophistry. Jeez. Um, so discard a card and draw. And I'll play Frankie. And it is your turn. I will draw three. Play Shadows, play Nexus, and Shadowsmith. Oh, yeah. mutants have Elusive. Racking up that coin, Nathan. Hmm. There's no GG Game 2s here. We'll play it out. <laughs> That's just a good turn one. But, yeah. Uh, it Key Forge is like, especially Mass Mutations, I think the decks are just so... Um, I don't know the the power level from turn to turn is just whiplash, mm -hmm. just wildly variable. It feels like it feels like one in four decks in the set were printed with like Martian Generosity half the time. Just like the sheer the logo's gonna make, definitely make it feel yeah. like that. Um, I will say Sarian. I am going to stomp the Nexus. Um, I will, yep, salt Frankie. I am going to play Console Primus. I'm going to play Patronage. It's got a damage icon on it, so I'll do a damage to the Shadow Smith. Um, and move half the Amber from a creature, uh, rounding up um, to my pool. And then move the other, it, all the remainder over. So I'll just take that one. Um, and then Golden Spiral, is it worth Golden Spiraling here? I think so. Is that the Bring Low deck? Wait, one of these decks has a Bring Low in it. Not this one. It's Cage, I believe. Cage has it. Okay, so yeah. Um, in that case, I am... Do I want a Golden Spiral here? Yes, I think I do. Yes, yeah, 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 totally do. Um, I exalt console primus to ready and reap with it, um, and it moves one ember from a creature to another creature. So uh, that's a banger combo right there. Yeah. And it is your turn. I'll draw three. I'll say okay. check with seven. I'll say sanctum. I'll play a square Alice and a techno knight and a El Salvador. Oh, this has a capture. Yeah. I'll play Zavador than Techno. Okay, your turn. All right. Um. The deck with three premises. Don't know if it's good. I mean, it's not bad. Definitely. Yeah. Not the worst starting a creature. Yeah, it's really good with Golden Spiral, but yes. you gotta get a Legacy <laughs> one. So. Yeah. Can't believe Zach's not here for the stream. It's very upsetting to me. K 
Can't believe he would choose friends over us. I I'm gonna say shadows. I'm gonna play lucky die. What is the worst starting creature? That's a good question. Um, I don't know. I mean, the, the thing with console Primus is that he actually has an ability. A lot of the enhanced cards don't have abilities on them. Yep. So, um. All right. So I'm gonna play lucky dice. I am going to have uh, Francis the Economist fight Squire Alice, so we'll both gain one. And I am going to Seeker Needle Alice now, finish her off. She's not a mutant, so I don't have to worry about that. And then I am going to play a Sacro Thief. And it is your turn. I will say check with nine and draw two. Go ahead. I'll say Shadows, play a Techno Thief, capture, and draw. I will... Spartasaurus. <laughs> booby trap the console promise. Spartasaurus is really good. Um, I'll go and use Miasma Bomb. Okay. And I'll reap with Shadowsmith. Your turn. Yeah, we'll stream the at least the Keyforge part of it. I don't know if we we probably don't want to do the whole thing because it's a lot of stuff we don't care about. We would care about like Marvel Champions, which I can just go back later and figure that stuff out. But Keyforge, we'll we'll stream over to it. Someone lets us know when that starts. So I assume it'll be like a little bit into the stream. I don't know if they actually put a schedule up. We like to talk about random stuff for a while. Marvel Champions is great. We haven't even done a Doctor Strange stream yet, so. Okay, I good. am going to say Saurians. Uh I am going to Golden Spiral um, Francis to fight um, Zalvador. Okay. And then I am going to play Faust um, and Exalt uh, Francis. And then I am going to Exile Francis to you. And it is your turn. I will say check with 11, and I will draw to you. I'll say Sanctum. A reap with Salvador. Zerf fishing for the ticket with Techno Knight. You never know. It could always it yeah. be there. Discard a card, draw a card. I will play a uh, Ray Rider. Fight the Faust. Play Cleansing Wave for three. Okay, so I'll forge for six. So check with nine. All right, I am going to say, um, I'm gonna say Star Alliance. I'm gonna lay of the land for starters. Okay. Please no flying keyword. Um, well, disappointing, disappointing top three. I will then play the um, Stealthster and draw. I am going to uh, Quintrino Flux. Stealthster and uh, Techno Knight, so threes and fives. Uh, 
I will play Ensign El Samra, and I will give her Blast Shielding, and I will pop the Lucky Dice so my creatures cannot take damage next turn. Yep. And it is your turn. I will say check with 11, and I will say Logos. I will say even Ivan, Robot, Geo, Academy Train, Grey Rider. Well, eclectic Inquiry. Reap with Grey Rider. Ready and fight your elusive guy with Keo and Draw Card. I'll play Infomorph. Yep. Your turn. I will forge. Uh, do I feel lucky? Um, or... Oh, did I draw from Academy Train? I did not. Uh, wouldn't have mattered. Okay. He drew from Kyo. That's true. I did not draw from the Grey Rider, though. Yeah. Even do something... Um, you might have to go into Shadows. I built the board, but uh, I gotta stop keys at some point. If I um, if I say Sarian, what happens? Play some stuff. Generate some amber with shadows. Keep an eye on the ice cover. Here's some amber shadows. If I'm like a gambler, I uh, I drew the other lay of the land, so I could lay the land and maybe hit something off of El Samra. The problem is, I think the card you really want to hit in this deck is the Curse of Vanity, um, and it's right there. Yeah. yeah. So um, I could Golden Spiral Samra, but I don't have I don't have any. Uh, mega bangers in my hand to hit. If I just totally whiff on this lay of the land, I gotta have. There's a red alert in the deck. If I hit that red alert, that's really good here. Um, that kind of sends you back to square one. Um, I can I can threaten either with shadows or with star lance. I think I go for the the better, the, the higher risk play. There's a chance you don't have anything to stop me here. So I'll say Star Alliance. I'll lay of the land. We'll look at the top three. Um, okay, so we the gamble pays off. Um, I'll draw. I will use El Samra. I'm going to show you Observe View Max. So I'll get one, capture one. We'll capture on the Sacro Thief. And then I will play the Observe View Max get one, capture one, and we'll capture it on the Sacro Thief. Um, I could even transfer the Blast Shielding over uh, after I use El Samra. Um, so, uh, since I know what the whole turn would be. So I'll say check with eight, it's your turn, I will draw one, and go ahead. I don't know that I have an answer in the deck, but I'll say uh, load us to pick up the archive. I guess I'm going to eight what you use even I That's true, so. but I don't even, I don't, yeah, we'll see. I'll play Lithologica. Okay. Because uh, I need to an answer in Logos. I'll play another Lithologica. Yep. Cronus, okay. I'll uh, reap with the Grain Rider. Draw a card. I'll fight your El Samra. So you can actually fight then I reap, could, yeah, fight. I could fight, um, fight, so draw, fight, yeah, reap, reap fight, fight, draw, yeah, draw, 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 yep, draw from the reaping. Plingero, raid my keyforge deck. Let's check it out after this. After this game, we'll we'll hop yep. up there. Um, we so Megan, we've actually uh, we have a spreadsheet that we use for our gauntlet series. Um, if you're um, 
we're, and, and our goal there was to keep more detailed information about games. So that's it. So, social science. Okay. Well, that's not. We can't have you that. We're just <laughs> we're just neckbeards. So does that? Like, uh, I don't know. It drew we'll a lot see. of cards. It did draw a lot of cards. <laughs> I think if you that were, one was very fast. To be fair. Yeah. The, the, uh, this one was just dominating a board against certain decks. I think you could win. Yeah. That. Yeah. This one had like enough board disruption yeah. to go with its amber generation. So. All right. Let's check on that. social science. Good, yeah, that was a fast game. game. There's, I, I don't. It, it, games are ten minutes or they're thirty-five in this set. It's just. Far away of Doc, Doc Wingapo, Doc a Wingapo. Okay, <laughs> we got some discs. We got the inferences. We got the gateway. Dominator, Bonesaw, Snoret, Waking Nightmare, Anguish, Grim Reminder, Soulfill, Pale Star. Pale Star is awesome. Grim Reminder, what can Grim Reminder do in the stack? Get back some fur gets back at furnaces. There's two of them, and it's pretty good. Um, Snoret at least has like a an, uh, immediate effect, right? Not a lot of impactful creatures in Logos. Not a lot of creatures in Logos, but that's not a bad thing. It's got Howling Pit. That's cool. Being able to Grim Reminder into Waking Nightmare is pretty good. That is pretty good. Yeah, uh, I think you probably. It's got two citizen tricks, so Sarian is probably pretty good too because you have the yeah. Aludos. Yeah. So you could uh, you could rip those up and get what's Aludos the to go with what's them. the enhancements in the deck? Um, the one of the tricks is enhanced. A lot of the Cronus is draw cards, and you got a Howling Pit, so your hand's going to be full. And opposition research for damage. Optiogorkus that you could plop next to your Shrixes. So you get a blast from the past that you Saves can use. Interest. Blast from the past. Um, to recur some stuff. So there's a lot of cool stuff going on here. A lot of recursion. Um, opposition research is actually overperforming in this set. Yeah, I think it is. It's, it's actually pretty good. Um, if it's uh, a card that a lot of people hated in Worlds Collide was the one that says cre non shadow creatures can't reap or whatever. Yeah. Um, and a lot of people hated that card, but it actually actually has a capture. That's awesome, actually. Oh, that's really good. Yeah. Right, Inky Gloom. So, yeah. Inky Gloom. Yeah, a lot of people hated Inky Gloom, but Inky Gloom is a very important card in Worlds Collide because of um, the Saurian boards or the Star Alliance boards that could develop. Just being able to take a turn and um, shutting them down. What are, we, um, what are we looking like on this? Oh, we're not even starting for seven more minutes. Yeah, seven more minutes. Jeez. Okay, wow. Seven minutes. Twelve hundred viewers, help us out. <laughs> Where's that host? Yeah, I see flight. Right, we'll this is where we that. end the stream and we host them yeah. to get people to watch us. You know, anyway. they don't have a, a notif notification. <laughs> the Twitch meta. All right, guys. We have to go leech from them. All right, anyway. Yeah. So, yeah, cool deck. Um, it's It's got a lot of amber control, so it seems like you can't really rush against that, right? Because of the infernaces um, and whatnot. It's got so, a professor as well. Yeah, yeah. So, having answers for large amounts of amber is really important in this set. So, um,. I don't know if the Logos was efficient as efficient as we've seen some of the other Logos. It did have be. the auto cutter, so... Yeah, well, there you go. That'll often be enough. So I am on the cage that probably garrisoned. Zach. Hello. Or Knight. Zach has arrived. Funny names synergy, yeah. Cage the proudly garrisoned this is pretty funny. <laughs> Tried discarding all logos cards. Yeah, I think there's like a lot of like logos cards in there during a logos turn. You're just happy to discard. Yeah. I don't coder just makes any deck so much better. Yeah. It's on the table. It's crazy how much better yeah. because you just get to your answers faster. Mm -hmm. You get your you cycle through the deck that much faster. Every card you discard is really like an extra card drawn. Yeah. So Zach's betting on himself. I see. <laughs> can't even do that. It's illegal. Tyler, you only illegal. have nine amber too. You can't even make that bet on yourself, Zach. I got auto coder in here. Let's see that. It's a lot of uh, enhancements in here. Yeah, that deck's uh, 12, which is, I'd say, on the higher side. 
I wonder what the bell curve for enhancements looks like in this set. I want to say it's probably around like four or five ish. Yeah. A Captain Valjerico too. Kozlaz. Uh, you want to do that deck? Yeah, we'll before, that real quick. yeah, we'll do that deck before we jump into this game. So, link it up. I I mean, Auto Encoder is a cool card. I. I would have to I would have to see what the set looked like, right? Because I think autoencoder is kind of pushing the limits of what you can do in this set, like and still be balanced. So you got some coda? You got coda. Uh, you got ten and nine with this in chain bound, it looks like. Okay. Five chains right now. Lots of chains. Two fears. And I think uh, fear got, well, fear's a lot better outside of uh yeah, yeah, yeah. And the Rolls Collide meta, that's pretty good. And there's probably some Mass Mutation decks Fear is good against as well. Three Fates is always awesome. Yeah, Three Fates is a nice answer Heck for... Um, With Dust Dump. Yeah, Double Ember Imp. Double well. Ember Imp is like, oh, you gotta yeah. answer us, right? Yeah, I think there's a lot of... There's a lot of... Ma Ember Imp is honestly probably really good versus Mass Mutation decks. Because um, a lot of them don't have as much like spot answer. removal yeah. um, as previous sets. So Logos... The, I mean, double, I double Positron, Positron yeah, right? I like it. Um, double Doctor Escatera and Double Doc Book Ten is very middling, but Mother is good. Yeah. Um, Dimension Door. I mean, at least you got some creatures for Dimension Door. It's always nice having Dimension Door as an out. They typically in Coda, Dimension Door very rarely got to steal anything meaningful. Um, double Nexus is nice. A Master Plan is cool. Uh, maybe Master Plan the Dimension Door if you ever get to untap. Um, well, you can actually Dimension Door. Does Dimension Door only work on Logos creatures? Mm. I think it says Logos creatures, right? No. So when you reap with creatures. Yeah. Yeah, so Master Plan Dimension Door is pretty good. Yeah, so you just use it when you can use it. Yeah. That's a, that's pretty solid. Um, yeah, Hecatomb's probably good too, because uh, Hecatomb on a Dust Imp is sweet. Um, you could probably use Hecatomb to close out a game too, right? Um, oh, you actually have two Silver Tooths, so Master Plan uh, Dimension Door to use with Silver Tooths is pretty cool. So... Long fuse mines love that card. Yeah, it looks pretty neat. Yeah. Um, as far as coded decks go, it's, it's doing more interesting things than the average coded deck. I think. Right, right. You got some control elements, and then you got some um, some speed um, elements. So it's all all pretty neat. This is, this is mine. Uh, I think so. This, yeah, this is Cage the Garbage okay. Garrison. I am first. Yeah, Silvertooth and Silent Dagger is a classic, classic combo. You just gotta pray they actually have a, um, a creature for you to uh, a stab, otherwise Silvertooth threatens to stab himself. Oh, right. I am going to say Star Lance. We're gonna play Captain Val Jericho. And then we're going to use J Val Jericho to play a sorry egg. Um, so I'll get one. And your turn. I will draw one. I'll say Logos. I'll play Lethalogica. The principle that I'm not going to use, like Humex, draw. Third principle, I'll play Bot Booked. All right. I am. Yeah, Jericho had damage, but she could just shoot her armor. Yeah, shoots her own armor. Um, for some reason, she has one armor. Yeah, why not? Um. Okay, I will say Sarian. I'll uh, play console Primus. Uh, I'll put one. I guess we'll put on J uh, Val Jericho, uh, and then I get to draw one. And then um, I am going to use Jericho to play. Um, uh, Crewman Yorg. Uh, no, does this actually do? I got to play Crewman Yorg on that side because if the Saurian Egg explodes. Um, then Crimin Yorg would shrink down to uh, be next to Val Jericho. So we'll use the Sarian Egg, so discard the top two. 
no starring cards, an uh, Armageddon Cloak and a Sagittarius Gaze. And then I will play another console Primus. And it is your turn. I will draw two. My turns aren't good. I'll play <laughs> Sanctum, or uh, Logos. I'll play Auto Encoder and do a damage to Yorg. Play Opposition Research. No. Yep. I'll be with Bot Bookton. Ah. There aren't in here. Okay. Right. Outstanding. I'll rebook you, Max. Your turn. All right. So no reaping. Um. I will say Star Alliance. I am going to play. Uh, I'll use uh, Yorg's action, and uh, since she has no Starlight's neighbors, I'll steal one. I am going to use the... Why is that Star Wars CCG 2.0? I'm just going to switch over to this. Uh, yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, hold on. Pop up this here window here. Yep, give us a second. They okay. immediately announced Star Wars. They came out really the way that I would have preferred or maybe like to just... introduce myself to all of you, but like a good legacy game, the lower half of my face is just going to need to remain sealed until we can unlock it. By defeating <laughs> Let's react, y'all. It's a pretty funny so, joke. And despite the fact We're that we can't now. see your faces and you can't see ours, we are beyond excited to broadcast our newest and biggest announcements and show off what we've been working Destiny on. Destiny 2. So, <laughs> Thank you all for coming and for your love and commitment to this hobby that we all share, which is, of course, tabletop gaming. So, here at Fantasy Flight Games, I, I, do, I would love another Star Wars game. Always striving to innovate and push our get games the to the YouTube next level now. in arts, in mechanics, in player experience. Uh, tonight, we're going to see announcements of some brand new games, uh, some new additions of older games, and expansions for existing games. What um, if they brought back Decipher for Star Wars? Yeah. Covering oh, man. just an overview here tonight, and we won't be taking questions during the show, but we will be presenting a full suite of deep dive live streams starting tomorrow and running through Sunday that are going to give you any sort of Star Wars card game. I'll be on board with. Yeah. Answered. I, so, I don't see how they without further don't ado, announce something, right? I guess let's so. get started. And uh, we're going to start by Rebecca taking Dune. a look at what's coming. They could make a new Dune card game, and like because the new things coming out, right? To do that, the new movies coming out. <laughs> I'm going to actually pass this over to John Schaefer, the head of the Fantasy Flight Miniatures Game Team. Miniatures Games. All right, pause. Pause. Yep. Back to Keyforge for a minute. Okay. Um. All right, so I... We're uh, strictly no miniatures game stream. <laughs> uh, I have used Krugman Yorg. Uh, I am going to use Saryan Egg, a mill two, Chant of Hubris, and Blast Shielding. Um, I will play uh, Curse of Vanity. Put that there. McKee for um, miniature game? I, that would be capture one. Kind of cool, actually. I don't um, know that we'd play it, but I guess we'd probably check it out. Exalt a friendly creature and an enemy creature. So I will exalt um, this console Primus and then Qmex. I will play El Samra and draw a card. What if they made Keyforge Star Wars CCG? Like the CCG. The Cypher CCG, but with Keyforge stuff. Yeah. That'd be pretty cool. I am going to play another El Samra over here. Um, <laughs> I, I secretly inserted WWE wrestlers into this game, yes. What if there was a WWE Keyforge house? Think about that. Um, Al Jericho? Going to. Did you play something offer? Oh, you played Curse of Vanity offer? Okay. Yes, yes. 
Um, yeah, before Probably, that. Yeah. Uh, Val Jericho, I guess we'll just kill the Q-Max. Um, okay. Take that Amber. And uh, that's it for me. Go ahead. I will say Sanctum. I will draw two. Play Champion. Play or Alice. Play Gizzleheart Standard. Uh, smite the champion into Val Jericho. Kip. That takes four. And that takes two. And Arden Hero. We'll fight Nel Samurum. Just make sure you don't get a dumb turn where you reveal a bunch of good stuff. Kip. And that's it. Actually, I'll fight that one, because that, that leaves him next to a Star Alliance person. That makes more sense. Okay. I am... Your opponent is a Forger Key. One, two, three, kick out. <laughs> What's this? When you think about it, Key Forge is basically wrestling. I have no argument against that. <laughs> I don't see how to argue against that. He's talking about some X-Wing Matchers games. Okay. Fine. Uh, I think I just say sorry in here. I'm going to play Citizen Tricks. Wrestling Cowboys is a good idea. Uh, he's enhanced to uh, draw cards, so I'll play Steel and draw. Um, I will play... Um, Sacrosaurus. Um, I will exalt it to do three damage to champion and a fail. Eddie is very treat hungry right now. No one's um, giving him treats. Can you believe it? I am going to reap with console Primus. I'll move one off the Sarian egg onto Squire Ellis. Um, I will reap with console Primus. I'll get one. I'll move one off of uh, Shrix onto Squire Ellis. And then I will use the Sarian Egg to mill two, two bulwarks. That is. <laughs> and it is your turn. I will draw one. Uh, okay, I'll say Shadows. Uh, I'm going to play this Pincerator. Uh oh. Start pincing. Play. Francis the Economist and Johnny Longfingers. I'll look over there. I guess the tricks to okay. steal one. That's it. Okay, so we pence. Your turn. That's an A treat. Hold up. Hold up. This is a very distracting stream. Hope yeah. you guys didn't want to like constant keyforge action tonight. We're not uh we're not on task tonight. This is why we're doing a bonus stream. This is we're constantly get derailed. <laughs> the treat. It happened. Variety streamers, yep. Yeah. The variety of things we do to distract us from playing Keyforge. Uh, we got Star Wars Legion, Anakin Skywalker. Okay. All right. That's fine. Okay. I am. Um, do I just say Saurians again? Yeah, I think so. I'll just say Saurians again. Uh, I'm going to reap with console Primus. So I'll move one off of console Primus onto Squire Alice. I'll reap with console Primus. I'll move one off the Sacrosaurus to Squire Alice. I am going... Squire Alice is in, is in trouble. <laughs> I'm in danger! <laughs> Sacrosaurus is going to fight Squire Alice. Oh, God. Um, and Obliterator. And then the Saurian Egg. We're going to use it. Defense Initiative and Seeker Truth. Okay, Saurian Egg has just milled me for two every turn. Uh, all right, I will say check with six, and it is your turn. 
I'll say logos. I'll pick up the archive. Oh, and pints. Uh, we get a pints. Got a pints. Say it's armor. I will play Qmax and draw. Play Sacrobot. Play Bot Bookton. I'm gonna reap with Bot Bookton. Barrister Joya. Mm. I will play Bouncing Death Quark. Okay. So I'm gonna kill Bot Bookton and Council Primus, and I steal one. Yeah, Johnny. God, oh man, this is gonna be I bad. Kill Sacrobot and what's this card? Uh, Sarah, Sora, Sacrosaurus, and Skill One. I kill Bot and Saurian Egg, Steel One. Uh, I will kill Tiny Long Fingers and Guy, Steel One. Kill Qmax, Yorg. Mitigated a bit. Um, I'll play this doomed daughter, okay. unfortunately. And that is my turn. Okay. Uh, I forge. Yep. Uh, Pence kills my console yep. Primus. Recently played, it sounds like that person ended up as a meal. Oh no. <laughs> I am going to say Sanctum. I will play Fangs of Gizzleheart, and I will purge Barrister Joya and draw a card. I am going to play Bulwark and draw a card. I am going to put Seraphic Armor on Bulwark. I am going to smite Bulwark into the daughter, so that'll dump two damage on Frankie. Uh, and then I am going to bring low, so I'll uh, capture two onto Bulwark. And it is your turn. I'll say check with six, and I will draw. Two. All right, I'll say Sanctum. Oh, and we pence, so Frankie's dead, and Arden Hero takes one. Uh, all right, so Sanctum, I'll play Font of the Eye. I'll free markets for two. Play a Xeno Knight. I'll play Bulwark. Play Xeno Knight. Play or Golgotha. Uh, I'm going to fight the Bulwark. So it's got Assault 2. Okay, yeah. And trade. Yeah, he's a mutant, so. Oh, yeah, they don't trade. Literally can't be killed by mutants. Literally unmutantable. Hence my armor. Okay, uh, so I'll forge. Yep. Uh, this is actually not a great board state for me currently. I will say um, Star Alliance. I will play Scout Pete. And I'll look at the top card. Um, oh, dang. Do I keep this guy? Discard this guy. Talk about Armada stuff now. Yeah, discard it. Discard Gorbanal. Um, I will play Kixelstone. I will play Tilper Chief Tink, and I will play Secura Droid. And it is your turn. Instant. Inst. And I will draw four. Okay, I'll say Sanctum. Give me no choice, Nathan. I know. You leave me no choice. I'll fight the Sacro Droid. Secure Droid? Secure Droid. Yeah, and I'll look at the top three. Uh. Okay. You forged, by the way. Oh, yeah. I'll discard Dino Knight. I will use Font of the Eye.
I'll reap with Golgotha, reap with Hero. Okay. I will say oh and you pence. A pence. Alright. I am gonna say Star Alliance. I will play uh Lay of the Land. So one capture and look. Oh yeah, okay. Put that back like that. He took an extra one. He did fought last turn. Uh, I also forgot about the standard save line. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. That, that would have given him an armor after he captured the one. Yeah, two. So, the pins. Oh, yeah, you're right. You're right. Um, all right, and then, and then I will draw. Um, what was this card? Uh, okay. I am. Um, I'm gonna fight Tink into the Ardent Hero. Actually, I'll fight Scout Pete into the Ardent Hero. And then I will fight Tink into the Xeno Knight. So it takes uh, two of its armor off. Then I will Red Alert for three. So Golgotha will take one. It'll only take two because of that three armor. Yeah. Okay. Um, and in the turn, he will die to the pence. Yeah. Um, Bulwark takes two. two. Golgotha takes one. Yeah. Could I have done that better? I could have fought Pete. No, I could have fought Tink into the Ardent Hero and then red alerted for three. And that would kill the Ardent Hero. And then I could fight Scout Pete into either the Bulwark or Golgotha. I don't already hear a damage on him. So, red alert for... Red, if I would have red alerted for two, because I had two guys here for... So I could fight the Ardent Hero. Yeah, that's the better... That's the better... Keyforge on there. Switch! Ah! Switch! Switch! React! Oh. Okay. Green for us. Refresh. Refresh. F5. We're professional F5ers. Oh, it actually effed. Okay. <laughs> Chad said, oh, it actually effed. Oh. <laughs> Stream effed. God, they're copy striking us. Oh my god. They know we're reacting. <laughs> they're outside the house. They're coming through the window. Well, I guess we'll finish this turn while you're effing. All right. So, um, uh, yeah, so the correct order there was to attack Teleport Chief Tink into Arden Hero. Then red alerting. Everything would take three. So they still have the amount of damage that they have on them. Then I've got Scout Pete. Scout Pete fights in a Golgotha to kill it. Okay. Um, and then you pence. Um, then I play Garcia. Okay. Uh, then pence happens. Xeno Knight dies. Bulwark takes an extra one. And it is your turn. I draw and then shuffle and draw. Right, I'll say Shadows. And pick up the archive. That's the kind of thing that's bound to happen. Yeah, now they're the, not, I wonder if they, they're ever going to realize that it happened and they're just going to go on with their presentation for a while. Uh, uh, okay, it's back. It's back. It's back. Okay. Oh, what's this? It's kind of sort of back. <laughs> it's thinking about being back. Uh, they're live, technically. Yeah, they've got stream, some fish dudes right there. They're stream crapped out. Oh, oh fish man! Fish dudes. That's clear fish man's. What? He just came back. Didn't have sound yet. Thing that we just we kidding. Okay. So obviously we just crashed. Um, uh, somewhere in the vicinity of Keyforge. Uh, so I'm going to start over at the Keyforge section and I will bring us back up to speed. So apologies and let's continue. Yes. 
So, uh, Keyforge, as I you may have heard me say, is a game unlike any other in existence. Uh, with Keyforge, uh, each and every deck is unique. Stuff and there. no. Oh, we're effing no. again! Yeah. Every time they show the picture, their computer crashes. Oh no! Mass mutations. Oh no! Mermaider. That's terrible. Go <laughs> into the water. You can't contain all of this power. Okay, well back to Inside uh, one stream. the game. Well, when when Fancy Flight wants the professionals Jeez. to handle their Keyforge presentation, I'm gonna mug. You let them know. Uh, I'm sorry. Hey, I'm gonna mug Garcia and do a damage to her. You let them know. We're right here. I will borrow your stone. Okay. Can do. I'm just gonna leave that upside down so I won't. Yeah. Just put that over there. I'll play a dark wave. I'll play a mug on my bulwark. And I'll play a ransack to steal one, and then steal one, and then steal another one. <laughs> and then I can't flip anymore. That's it. Your turn. Okay, I am going to say Saurian. I will play Curse of Vanity. I, was this in my... I, I picked this Amber up somehow. I have uh, 12 there, I think. Yeah, I think so. Um, I'm going to play Curse of Vanity. I am going to discard Saurian Egg and Prefect as Ludo, and I will play Faust the Great exalting himself, so you will pay 7 for that key, and I will draw. Uh... The, Ludo's gonna get pinched. Sorry, Faust is gonna get pinched. Two, seven. Okay. Netrunner 2. People are just yelling names of games they want in the chat. So. <laughs> it's very distracting. Mentions to stop talking about Keyfall. F you, guy. It's not called Keyfall. Jeez, I need to stop reading chat. I'm getting triggered. Getting triggered by chat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Just kidding. Oh. <laughs> okay. Tiny pictures. These tiny pictures are barely legible. And very annoying. I'll say uh, Qmax. I mean, I'll say Logos. Play Qmax. Play Bouncing Death Court. Play Opposition Research. Discard Effervescent. Your turn. Okay. I will say. Um, FFG lot, not live, more like. I'll play, sorry, I'll play Sagittarius Gaze. Uh, I will play Console Primus, uh, capture one and draw. Uh, and then I'll defense initiative for the Console Primus, and then he'll get pinced. And it's your turn, I'll draw two. I'll play Sanctum. I'll play Square Alice. And Full Work. Oh, he's, he's got a damage on him, right? No, he was warded. He was warded, okay. I'll smite the. It'll work. <laughs> Who do you work for, Eddie? Fantasy Flight? Uh, take two. Mega Pins for one. I'll capture. I don't have any. Yep. I, I, I'm done. Okay. Uh, I guess I can. I guess I could play Scrivener Favian and then Mantle the Zealot and draw. And then Bulwark and draw. But there's no capture inside okay. uh, logo, so I can't steal and stop you. Uh, I didn't actually get, expect to get boned by my pixel stone there, but you took that shadow's turn in which you. It was a lot. Uh, the stealing with the mutants too was pretty huge. Yeah, you BDQ'd. Yeah. yeah, that turn was bad. That that turn was really. Harley, Harley, what the? Welcome Not back, seen this Harley. name around these parts. Yeah, it's been a hot minute, Harley. For a while. I was just thinking about you the other day. We were just talking so about much. you. We talk about we talk about how you're the our our longest uh, running Canadian fan. <laughs> I have this fight with you. Need to kill Johnny. Long. I think he was behind Taunt at the time. I believe he was behind. He was yeah, behind Arden Hero. Kill. I couldn't kill Arden Hero. Let's get Eddie. That get Eddie a treat. Do you think he deserves a treat? What a good Barky boy. Like Do you think he deserves a treat after that kind of behavior? 
Oh, look at this. How dare you reward him? Look at this. All right, let's get. Oh. A few days off. That's cool. Yep, good to see you around, Hurley. We're still doing, we're still doing our thing. So. Is this stream still not back on? It's still not back on. Oh man. FFG barely live. <laughs> Pretty funny. All right, well, this is, this is a great stream we're having tonight. Yeah, as if we were worried about the competition. <laughs> uh, as if. Okay, game three. You're on Gregson. Uh, okay. Director P. Fallmark. Yeah, that, that felt like a game that uh, Logos won for you because you just got to set up like a big shadow stream. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Taking over. Dancing robots. Uh, I don't think they're streaming YouTube. They main they primarily stream to Twitch. Yeah, and they, they do. They make they make right? cross stream to, to YouTube. I'm still not. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what. Like, did their whole computer just die? Their streaming computer just Unless, die? Uh, it's possible if they're streaming from multiple locations. Does that make sense? Like, if they had to... Well, they've, they've been back in the office because the last two... Like, all the Keyforge stuff has been from one... From their uh, office. Yeah. Who knows? Yeah. I would love to see... I mean, Marvel Champions X-Men would be pretty sweet. That's what I want most, I think, out of Marvel That'd Champions. Be awesome. Then stream Twitch, then upload the YouTube. Okay, that's what yes, I thought. Yes, yes. And that's what we do. We're professionals, so. Quick, everybody go advertise our stream in FG chat. <laughs> we got your Keyforge action right here. Yeah. You put your life savings, savings on that. Oh, man. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> I know something about gambling away life savings before. <laughs> Is that another bank story? No. Yeah. Well, no. Eight. They're back. Nine. Gen Con Nine online first. in quotes. Doesn't look very back to me. We've been here before. Okay, they're 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 back in quotes. Are they talking? Saying something? They're just, oh, this is the loading screen again. Oh, no. Nope, they're off again. <laughs> Dude, what is happening? <laughs> Every time we watch the stream, it dies. Hmm. Hmm, third F is not good. Third time is bad. They just dropped the infographic, yeah. They should just, just freaking write an article real quick. It's cursed image. Cursed image. Uh, did, are you first, or am I first? If you see, if you see the screen in the next week, your stream will die. New game, Keyfall. Key what are you doing? What are you what doing? Are you, what do you think you're doing? This is what happens. This is what happens. You give this dog treats. If you give an Eddie a treat, he's gonna want a pets. Are you first or was that first? I'm first. Oh, there, was there a video associated with it? Ah, uh, okay. So you're first. Yeah. I had just Mulligan. <laughs> Uh, so this is actually the best case scenario to play this card. This hand is awful, bro. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay. Whatever. Let's go. Because of heart standard, go. It is very difficult to be. I agree. Um, I'll say sorry and play Golden Spiral and Curiosaurus. Uh oh. I will say Logos. I'll play Bot Booked in and discard two opposition researches. And uh, I'll draw three. I'll say Shadows. I will mind fire you. Back again? Maybe? Gen Con online. Brand side. Oh, come on, okay. dude. I'm gonna lights out the book then. Play Reckless Rizzo. Oh, 
hold. You can go ahead, Nathan. Let's, let's, um, I don't expect this to actually happen. I am oh, going. Okay, all right, we're good. We're good. Are we good? We're back. Hello. We're back. Welcome to the 2021 in-flight report. No, just kidding. Uh, apologies. Uh, we have um, hopefully addressed the technical issue that we have been struggling with, and, and we are ready to continue. So the Keyforge, uh, our most recent set, the Mass Mutation set, features some really amazing additions. Uh, the Vault of Dark Amber is opened and mutations it causes are running rampant on the crucible. For the first time, there are gigantic creatures, massive mutants that are too big to be contained on a single card and stretch across two cards in your deck. There are also mutated versions of existing creatures, including fan favorites like Bad Penny. Uh, finally, added enhancement icons are introduced by cards in this set, automatically granting other cards a unique that further makes your deck stand out as one of a kind and may just give you the edge you need. Mass Mutation, as you can see here, is available at your local retailer mm -hmm, now. Mm -hmm. Is there anything cool in the background? But I know that you want to know what the future holds. So, like Game of Thrones. so today, we are proud to announce the fifth set of Archon decks for Keyforge, Dark Tidings. Ooh. Like Ooh. all previous sets, Dark <laughs> Tidings introduces billions upon billions more potential decks. Into billions? The game, with a refreshed card pool that includes over 250 new cards. With Dark Tidings, then, comes the introduction of a new house. The Unfathomable. Oh, that's sweet. Yeah. This house focuses on controlling the board yeah, through exhaustion and placing penalties on your opponent for Penalties taking opponent certain actions, board. making them okay. very taxing for your opponent. Oh. They're going to be replacing House Dis, oh. and with that faction, and of course their strong control elements rotating out, it has been an important design focus for the unfathomable house to echo that control, but of course with a distinct new flavor and feel. Another feature coming with this set is a high and low tide mechanic, giving players mastery over the crucible's yeah, various bodies of water. I took a screenshot. A of new those tide cards. token will what be included the? in each Dark Tidings deck as a 38th card, and will have a oh. high tide end and a low tide end. Every deck, including non Dark Tidings decks, is going to be able to shift this card between that high and low tide for them. The vast majority of cards that reference Tide uh, are going to benefit only uh, benefit you only when the Tide is high, encouraging players to engage in a dynamic back and forth struggle to keep the Tide on their side. Hmm. Hmm. And while every single house is going to be able to take advantage of the shifting tides that rock the Crucible with the introduction of this new Tide mechanic, the unfathomable. Uh, has the greatest control, allowing players to gain the maximum potential for their tide effects while denying their opponent their own. Finally, the Keyforge algorithm continues to be pushed further than ever with the introduction of evil twin decks, dark reflections of other decks that exist out in the world that you might what? rarely find when opening a new Dark Tidings Archon deck. Um, an evil twin deck has a special card back and a name that is based on the appearance and name of an already existing deck. What? For example, if somebody finds uh, in the world a deck named Televig the Renegade, someone else might be lucky enough to find a deck named Televig the Renegade's evil twin. <laughs> um, an what? evil twin's deck what? list uh, composition is identical to its normal twin's deck list except many of the cards are replaced with altered evil twin versions of the normal cards, as like you can see here um, with uh, what is this? Taniwa, each with unique and ramped up versions of the, you know, kind of the, the normal cards effect. But these also typically hurt the player using them, uh, making them a really fun challenge to That's play. That's so cool looking. So like uh, Mass Mutation, the Dark Tidings set uh, is going to release with a two-player starter set, a deluxe deck, and a standard Archon deck, and they're all going to be releasing 
in February of 2021. February? Cool. Now yeah, let's we went talk like about, about Anomaly Dex. One of well, my all right. okay. personal favorite Ooh, settings. That's, uh, a, lot to, uh, that's a lot to take in there. We have that's created not what I expected. Yeah. Right? Yeah. <laughs> the new type of deck. I don't know if anyone called alternate it, yeah. universe decks. Alternate, yeah. A, complete, a deck that mirrors another's deck. I guess it's only for that set, though. Yeah, because so, it's like stuff within the set. Yeah. Dude, um, that's crazy. How expensive do you think evil twin decks are? By themselves right right I mean, imagine like a evil twin version of like a vault tour winning deck yeah that'd be right it's totally sweet right so i uh i clipped the picture of the card spoilers we'll pull that back on so we can take a look at yeah, it let me see if i can get that saved to something reasonable so lost my snipping tool how do i save this in this individual picture um and can i just zoom this you could probably control c it and then You should clip it again. <laughs> okay. Let me see if I can get this on the stream. Uh, save it. Oh, how do I? How do I function? There we go. Oh, so it actually looks like. Who else is gone? Was that all seven houses that are going to be in that set? Yeah, that's what I'm trying to figure out. Because it looked like shadows. Sanctum Untamed. It, they did say this was out, but I think there was only yeah. a new, one new house in. I did, it did show sad shadows. We're trying to figure out if there's another house that was actually rotated. It'd be a sh shame if Mars didn't come back, I would say. Um, yeah, Sarian was in there. Star Alliance was in there. Um, this is safe, too. Okay, hold on. Pictures. Here we go. Here we go. All right. Let the reacting begin. Okay, so the chosen one. What's this guy doing? That guy is, instead of readying creatures they control during their ready card step, your opponent deals one damage to the chosen one for each exhausted creature they control. Oh, wow. That's uh, it's pretty bonkers, crazy. Bonkers, right? Yeah. Because, um, yeah. And then Captain Nobeard is a shadow's creature. Each of Captain Nobeard's neighbors gains taunt, and he has reap capture one. Oh, okay. Okay. It's not bad. Uh, SC077 Robot Star Alliance Reap. Ready and use another something creature with the same power. You may give him a plus one power counter or remove a plus one plus one counter from him. Okay. And then there's a bunch of stuff we can't see. But we have. Oh, cool. Okay. I see how that works. So he lets you use your other creatures. You can up, adjust or remove uh, yeah. or lower his power to use. There's other stuff, ominous so. in the background here. It's like a squid thing. Yeah. Um, Lightsmith, Clarial, Chelonia. Something feel. I bet we'll get we'll get a lot more information on this on Saturday. I bet. But uh, so we have Shadows, Star Alliance, Unfathomable, Untamed, um, Sanctum, Logos. That's six. And uh, Sarian. So yeah, that's uh, that's our seven houses. Yeah, I'm willing to bet there's an evil twin for every card in the set, right? That'd be insane. Um, that's like so much stuff. Looks like all seven. That's yeah. only that was that was seven. What? It was uh, it's Star Alliance, Shadows, Unfathomable, Untamed, Sanctum, Logos, and Sarian. There's is eight there. There's two Unfathomables, but so then there's one three, everything else. Six, seven. Okay, yeah. So no Brobnar, no Dis, no Dis, no Mars, no Mars. Yet again, no Mars. Man, man, if I was a Mars fan, the Mars hate. Part pour one out for that dude on Reddit from circa a year ago or whatever, <laughs> right? So I'm still jacked AF <laughs> for the set. That's yeah, weird. that's crazy, right? Like, um, how many evil twin decks do we get in a hundred? Probably none. It's kind of like the same. Like how rare? Again. How yeah. rare are they? Uh, yeah, right? that's a good question. Yeah, maybe one. Um, evil twin is a totally is an evil twin version of another deck. That the concept of that is so cool. Like, yeah, they keep wowing me honestly with yeah. the stuff they do. And the and the cards. So the deck is still unique because all of the cards in it. Or um, different. One new house, two tied mechanics, three evil twin was a fourth thing. I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think so. 
it'll bro- it'll be like an evil twin of a deck that exists somewhere in that set probably so they'll be in that set but there'll be evil twins of decks in that set yeah it might not be every card in the set that's evil twin but some creatures would be in evil twins yeah we'll find out more some cards will be twin not all it'll be the ante of the normal card yeah pretty cool um i am and <laughs> their stream crashed again <laughs> classic well stick with a uh... yeah they said the deck backs are different which is really cool i'm gonna say logos i'm gonna bouncing death quirk to kill and then i'll play bot booked him. and it is your turn i'll draw to you yeah it w- i assume it would be unfathomably difficult to crack a deck plus the twin right yeah also shadow is all perplexing sophistry and play Francis. What did I? What did I say? Did I pun? Did I accidentally pun? Yes, much respect. Oh, no. Unfathomably. Oh no, I didn't even mean to do that. <laughs> I mean, yes, I did. <laughs> Don't give him that much credit. <laughs> Man, that was that would have been so genius that I meant to do that. <laughs> Let's cl- all right, cut out, cut this part of the video where I admit to not doing that. Clip. All right, ten seconds from now, put stream markers down. Clip it out. <laughs> Talking to my editor. I am gonna borrow the golden spiral. Thank you. That's pretty good. I am gonna mug and blow up this Francis by hitting him once and then hitting him for two. I am going to Golden Spiral to Exalt and use Bot Booked In, so I will reap and play the top card. At least we got the uh, Lethal well, Logica. At least so. we got the Keyforge info before they re- they crashed and burned again. How many decks plus twin are relevant to speak to one another? Yeah, I, I bet it's so rare. I mean, like, think about it's got to be so small because oh, if, if it's there. if it can twin a foreign language deck that's my question right can you twin yeah a Chinese it's deck? probably the so names are the names are totally not the yeah. same in chinese so I, I bet it's within the same language uh i'm gonna mug my bot booked in um she'll take one because she's got an extra armor because of oh no no, no, no first right it's moved and then she takes two so yeah the entire deck is evil twinned they said like so in this instead of this deck being director p fallmark it would be director p fallmark's evil twin uh and i'll play finch cloak and it is your turn. I'll say check with seven and draw. Okay, I'll say uh, Star Alliance. I will red alert. To Unfathom the bull. To everything. Play Explorer Rover, Stealthster attached to it, draw a card. Play Blast Shielding. Play Observe You Max. Your turn. Okay, so I'll forge for six. Yep. I am going to say Logos. Yeah, not the entire deck is Evil Twin. Most of the deck is, it sounded like, or like some uh, select creatures or something. I'll play Daughter, then Sacrobot, and then I'll Effervescent to destroy two, getting a chain. I'll discard my other Effervescent, and it will be your turn. I'll drop a chain and draw up to six because of Daughter. Play. Will be oh cards that have evil versions will be the evil versions. Okay, okay. So yeah. there might only be a handful of cards in the set that have evil versions, then, right? So the unfathomable are not in the keyforge source book. So yeah. yeah, was it Aquins or whoever were in there? What was it? Aquins was like a theoretical house. That okay, didn't actually exist. okay. So unfathomable are what we uh, people, what people were saying. Like uh, you could say Aquin house. That was yeah. like a made up term, I think. Yeah. So um, no sky pirates. No sky pirates yet. No sky. But um, I'll play Shadows. I'll play Secret Needle, Sacro Thief, or Rizzo than Sacro Thief. Identical cards except cards that have evil versions. Okay. I'm all jacked up. Can't 
<laughs> Can't focus on the game. Too pumped. Possible having two decks of the same two of the same deck if none of the cards is an evil version. I bet they would only evil version if there are cards that can change. I think they still make it so that there would be a unique deck. I Oh man, the art looks so sweet. So sweet. Yeah, the I mean the I see the eyeball and I think like I Cthune or whatever yeah, from World that's of Warcraft. That's the inspiration it seems like. So but yeah. Aquins are existing trait. Oh, that's what the dude was. Oh, okay, right. Okay. I mean, look at that. Look at this sweet art. You guys like some sea monsters? Yeah. You know, it's a Richard Garfield game if he's included some sea monsters of some sort. Yeah, I like it. I'm pretty excited. It's a pretty good one. Yeah, they like make evil versions of every common creature, so you could basically impossible to not have right an evil right. version. House leaders just merit lage, yeah. House, the house leader is uh, Cthulhu. Dagon. Alright, I am going to say Shadows. I am going to play Reckless Rizzo. I'm going to Golden Spiral to action Reckless Rizzo. Thank you. I will play Francis the Economist. Um, and then Finch Cloak is going to Breep, and we both gain one. Now oh, you get one more. Oh yeah, and then I get one. You said and it's called uh, Dark Tidings. Dark Tidings. <laughs> that was like the one thing I couldn't remember. And I'll draw to you. I'll say good. Sorry, and I will play. See, he's an Aquan creature type, so. Play Patronage to the Rizzo. So this goes here. And then I can move half of off of something. Yep. Uh, I will play a stomp on daughter. Oh, I'm supposed to draw more. So the daughter. Okay. Toast. Play Council Primus and Faust. And that's it. There's a place called Aquan Lake in, our, Lake in the RPG book. Okay. Aha. Uh -huh. So I wonder if Aquan's just like a location and not necessarily an attribute. Like, right? Aquans are from the Aquan Lake. I don't know how Keyforge keeps like. Coming up with ideas that are un, un I don't want to say unfathomable again, <laughs> like that aren't initially apparent. Yeah, because right? this is the only game that exists where you can make things like that. Yeah, where you can you can like you can introduce a new mechanic for a set and it doesn't disrupt the flow of the game because that's like a mechanic that would only work inside that set. Yeah, like the dark the um, tide mechanic. Yeah, um, I do wonder how that's going to interact. And, with and like sets. you have that problem. Well, you just gain three chains to like manipulate the oh, tide, okay. right? Yeah. So um, it's an interesting thing for power creep purposes, right? Um, so Keyforge is a game where you can like take risks, but you can like build in weaknesses into a set. Yeah. Just so there's, I mean, I'm, I would be surprised. I wouldn't be surprised if there was like a a, um, a spreadsheet somewhere where they're like. These are the things that this set does particularly well. These are the things. These are the set. weaknesses I have. Because yeah. this, this, the clear weakness of mass mutation is, is scaling amber answers. Right, and that's so. not a bad thing. Um, I I don't worry about jumping the shark because I think Keyforge can push the envelope enough pe to where people jumping shark is a good thing. Yeah, in Keyforge because keep trying new unique things. Like if one flops, it happens, yeah, you know, yeah. Uh, but they're the way they're I mean, they're I, very very you, adventurous with it. Well, you, I love that. You could argue that. Um, AOA was probably not as well received as the other sets because it didn't really take any risks compared yeah, to the other Yeah, it didn't do sets. anything different. It just did it was just, worse. It was a new set with like different stuff going on, yeah. right? Um, but Worlds Collides, you had you had some chase cards and the anomalies, and you gave you two new houses. Um, in uh, this set, you've got enhancement icons. You got the double cards, people. I, I remember. I, I want to go back and uh, take a look at the tweets when they announced the double cards. 
Because people were like, these double cards are going to break the game. And then other people were like, these double cards are unplayable. And the double cards are exactly where they should be. The nice, cool, splashy effects um, that you get to do. Some, you can only do that kind of thing in Keyforge. Um, but they're not overpowered, yeah. right? Um, and I, I'm willing to bet the the tide mechanic... Like, like the, with the tide mechanic, like the older decks may not care about it, Yeah, right? You could just say, fine, have the high tide. I don't care. Um, you know, so. Jumping the Shark is a reference to a Happy Days episode where Fonzie was in the back. He was on wa- water skis and it was tied to a boat. And on that episode, he went up a ramp and jumped over a pit of sharks and landed on the other side. After that episode, ha- the Happy Days was not the same. Happy Days was bad. Happy Days was bad after that. Yeah. Before that, Happy Days was good. It was a normal show. After that, they had like aliens and time travel and stuff. Yeah. That's where that's the, where the term jumping the shark comes from. Yep. So you don't want to jump the shark because it makes your product worse in the the for the thereafter. Yeah. You you alter the product forever afterwards. Yeah. Yeah. There's aliens. That's where Mork comes from. The uh, Robin <laughs> Mork and Mindy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know that. I yeah. Didn't Mork, know. Was, Mork and Mindy is a spinoff from Happy Days. <laughs> yeah, I did not know that. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I know. I knew that like a lot of shows were spinoffs because Family Matters is a spinoff of uh, what's the show? Because uh, God, well, like Cheers had a billion uh, spinoffs with Frasier's off Cheers and Becker's off Cheers. Yeah. Why do I know that? I watch Nick at Night, <laughs> The Jeffersons. Yeah. All right, I am. Uh, gonna say shadows. I am gonna look over there, Faust. All in the family. Perfect strangers. We just naming. We just naming shows now. Yeah. Um. Archie Bunker show. I think that's right. Yeah. Right. Because you can do something up yeah you can make you broken can do, cards yeah um you just give them like literally just wiki did it it was perfect strangers okay okay cool. i guess with that because he was like um uh carl winslow was like a elevator repairman or something in the show or whatever and then they spun off family matters from that or so i thought Die Hard was a was existed in the <laughs> family matters, family matters. matters. <laughs> yeah um so i am i gotta use finch cloak first shadows yeah so we're gonna we're gonna reap with finch cloak yeah we'll reap with finch cloak which game one or it's only if you have less and then uh oh, yeah more. like but we both gained one yeah um i am going to uh dark wave so non mutants. Armor dies. This goes here. Okay. And then oh and Finch Cloak dies and Frankie takes two. Um and Frankie is gonna fight console primus. So we each gain one. And then I will Golden Spiral Sacrobot uh, Reap. Discard a card from my hand. I'll discard Bot Booked in Draw. And it is your turn. I will say check with 10 and draw. Uh, I'll say Shadows. I'll Secret Needle to Frankie. Play Lucky Dice. Play Vandalize. Get your cards. I'll discard this auto encoder. Is there anything up? <laughs> I'll reap the Sacrobot. Your turn. I was doing a parody of a React face. I was doing my actual face. That was my actual reaction. That was a genuine, real reaction for me. That's exactly the same face I would have made had I been watching on my chair at my computer by myself. Uh, for my room. Four for six. 
just because it's going to be the key, the <laughs> thumbnail for the YouTube video doesn't mean <laughs> that it wasn't genuine. <laughs> <laughs> What? <laughs> That's true. I do that all the time. Yeah. Uh, I am going to say Sanctum. I'm going to play Font of the Eye. Um, I'm going to free markets. So we've got Shadows, Logos, sorry, Shadows, Saurian, Star Alliance, Logos. Mm -hmm. Okay. Four. That's mm -hmm. fair. Mm -hmm. uh, I will play a Champion and a Fuel. I will play Squire Alice and Capture 2. I will play Xena Knight. I am going to smite the Xena Knight into the Explorer River. It literally does nothing because you guys are <laughs> elusive and have armor. Um, but I get to look at the top three. If the tree is still down. I'll put... People are asking about there, Keyforge in there. There, and this Recruit goes to my them. hand. Um, and then I'll play Ardent Hero. And it is your turn. I'll say check with eight. I can't uh, draw. Can't do anything about that. Can't. That game was just doomed from the start. I forgot about the borrow. Yeah, borrow's uh, pretty good. Yeah. That card. Uh, that that card may be the second most powerful card in the set because if you borrow your opponent's auto encoder, would you have an auto encoder? Oh. <laughs> so. They canceled their record and uploaded to YouTube. Ah, okay. Okay. Fair enough. That's fair, yeah. If you're just having that much trouble, yeah, you might as well just... It's been like four crashes. Yeah. Uh, so I'm, I'm on Cage. And you're on Everlasting. It's neck lifter, but not rare. And it has an amber on it. Yeah. And it makes the artifact shadows. Yeah, I mean, that's what Snecklifter did, but yeah. Well, it, it makes the shadows regardless of oh, borrow whether does. or not you have that thing in the house. God. It always makes the shadows. Yeah. So it's like strictly better than Snecklifter. Game four. These games are kind of going quick tonight, even though we're being, we're being very distracted. Yeah, super distracted. It's called Borrow. We were just talking about. In quotation marks. Borrow is in quotation marks. So. It makes it, it makes it shadows if you don't have shadows on your house card, but Borrow makes it shadows regardless. I believe. We could look. We just played the card. Was it in Gregson? Yeah. Yes. Play it super early. And yes, it belongs to House Shadows. Well, under your control, control belongs to House Shadows. Oh, yep. It's right there. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, you can always use it immediately. Well, they said they'd bring it right back. <laughs> Squire Alice said that. No, funny. come on, Squire Alice. <laughs> You're never going to make it a knight at this rate. I think I misunderstood the assignment. She is struggling. Yeah. It seems like kind of like a sanctum thing to do is to... To be naive. Put put your... Well, no. Put your recruits in harm's way. Oh, the yeah. ones that make it are the ones that get advanced. 11. Yeah. Square Alice is fine. Capture 2 is good. Oh my god. I did not know this card was in this deck. I'll play Saurian. Play that and draw. Your turn. I'm going to say Sanctum. I'm going to play Master of the Grey and Techno Knight. Go ahead. I will draw. Right, nerd. What are you going to do about it? What are you going to do about it, nerd? Are you going to have any fun this game? Uh, yes, I'll say sorry, and I'll play a Sacrosaurus and exalt him to shoot the master and then fight the master. Okay. Now I can have fun. I will 
Curse of Vanity. And uh, you capture one, but that's no capture. I'll chant a Hubris. Alright, my turn. I am going to say Logos, uh, play Lethal Logica, and discard the top cards into an Umbra Bot. I'll play Umbra Bot, even Ivan, Keo and Keo, and a Infomorph. Uh, okay. And your turn. Well, draw. I'll say Star Alliance. Play a stone. Mm. I'll play Crew Man. Work. I'll secure a droid. Sacrifice. All right, my turn. I am going to say sank. Uh, sorry, uh, logos. Um, Umbra bot is gonna reap. I will discard shoulder id and draw. Um. Keo will fight Sacrosaurus, and I will draw. And Keo will fight Sacrosaurus, and I will draw. And even Ivan is going to reap. And Infomorph is going to fight the Sacrosaurus. Might as well get that off the table. Uh, and then I'm going to pitch Lycobot, even Ivan, and Cronus. And it is your turn. I will draw one. So Starlance, I'll deal one. Play Tink, and it's an Elsemra. Okay, my turn. I will... I'll say Logos. Uh, I'll reap with Umber Bot. I haven't put any of the, the scores into the challenge. Oh, oh, you've been too distracted by FFG, haven't you? Haven't you? Well, I won the first game. Yep. I you, won the second game. Yep. Three to two, I think. The third game just happened. And I won that one. And you won that game. That one was uh, three to one, I think. Yeah. I don't know if I forged, but. I think you did. You had enough. I I gave you like three amber during the game. Now we're on the fourth game. Okay. It's fine. This one night. Look. Yeah. One. It's all I'm asking. There's too much good stuff going on tonight. Very busy tonight. Okay. Uh, anyway, Umberbot. We're gonna reap with Umberbot. So I'm gonna discard Francis the the Economist, and I'll draw one. Um. Even Ivan is gonna action to steal one. Keo is going to kill Crewman Yorg, and I'll draw one. Oh, Cilia and Charybdis was unfathomable foreshadowing. Oh, yeah. Uh, they're sea monsters. Or if they cool. were style and passive ability. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah. makes like sense. It. That's good. That's good. I like it. I like it. Uh, this Keo will fight El Samra to kill, and I'll draw. And it is your turn. Plus they're based on sea monsters from the Odyssey. I'll play Sanctum. Play the Seeker of Truth. I'm going to give it an Armageddon Cloak. Play Bring Low. I will smite the Seeker into the Kyo. I can fight with Chant with Tink, and I'll just fight there. Uh, I think really honestly it ends up being about the same so I'll just say logos again I'll reap with umbra bot I am going to discard Francis the Economist, and I will draw. Um, and then even Ivan is going to reap. Let me just seven. I will say check with seven, and it's your turn. I'll play the Saurian. I will 
play a Shrix Exalt play Ludo the capture called defense initiative and exalt forward what the hell is it okay I am I am going to say Sanctum. I am going to discard General Salvador. I am going to Commandeer. I'll put it on even Ivan. Um, uh, it has a capture icon. I will play Bulwark and I'll do a damage to Prefectus Ludo, and I'll draw a card. That'll let me commandeer and capture. And Bulwark does too. Uh, Bulwark draws. He gets one for the commandeer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's what I did. I got that. I oh, okay, okay. Um, commandeer had a capture. I got you, yeah. yeah. Um, so Techno Knight is going to fight Prefectus Ludo to kill. Um... And then I am going to Cleansing Wave. So one, two, three. Get three, dump three onto the table. Uh, and that'll let me capture one. Uh, sure, we'll put it on the upper box. Okay, your turn. I'll say check with nine. And... I'll do Sanctum. I'm gonna mantle the Zealot my Shrix and draw. Yikes. Play Seraphic Armor. Play Bork and draw. Oh man, the, the Assault makes it not get its fight ability. <laughs> if I Assault down something so dumb. Not that I want to fight with Strix, so he's definitely reaping. Exalting, exalting. Uh, I'll play another Bulwark. I'll reap Seeker. Or no, I'll just fight the Umber Rock. Okay. And that is it. Alright, so I will forge. Yes. I am going to say Lugus. I'll play Lethal Logica. For collective inquiry. I don't even get the one card left. <laughs> yeah. Don't even get the full value out of it. Uh, I'll play Eclectic inquiry. I will. Um, Put Academy Training. <sighs> this actually, it was going to be Bulwark. It's got to be Bulwark. Um, I'll put Academy Training on Bulwark. Uh, since I milled myself, there's like an argument to put it on the Techno Knight because if I reap with it, I'll get to draw two cards from a freshly shuffled deck. Um, but uh, I guess we'll just slap it on the Bulwark. Bulwark's going to fight Shrix, so Assault 2 will take out the ward. And then they'll fight, um, and that'll kill Shrix off. I just can't let that Shrix stay on the table. It'll just generate way too much amber. All right, and 
even Ivan is gonna reap to put me up to um, seven. So there you go. Uh, I'll say check with seven. It is your turn. I will shuffle and draw to you. So forge. Yep. All right. I'll say. I'll say Sanctum. Play Lieutenant Corbinal. I'll fight even Ivan. Blast him. You capture one Gorbinal. One Gorbinal. I'll fight the Bulwark and blast him. Capture one Gorbinal. I'll fight the Techno Knights. So. Assault the armor, three damage from Seeker, and then armor go ahead and cloak trigger. And then capture one on Pro Cardinal. Oh no, uh, he's got a ward, so the ward just happens. He had dead damage on him. Uh, that's it. Okay, I am going to say Shadows. Um. I'll play Miasma Bomb. I'll play Nexus. I'll play Techno Thief. He's gonna capture one. I'll capture it on Nexus and uh, draw a card. I will play Dino Thief. I don't actually even think I exalted here because um, I think all my guys are toast. And then I'll play Shadow Smith. And I'll play Francis the Economist. And it is your turn. I will draw. All right, yeah, let's say Sanctum. Fight Nexus. You're like all elusive is the problem. Oh, uh, yeah, assault. Yeah. So. But the assault two doesn't kill anything. I'll fight the techno thief. I think these two just reap. It's Francis. Blow my arm and then cloak. Oh, did I get one capture for the no no techno thief? Um Yeah, they'll just reap. Okay. I will say sanctum. I'll put my archives into my hand. Is that even worth putting in my hand? No, it's not. I'll just leave it there. I will play a Master of the Grey. I will play a Dino Knight and draw. Um, I will discard Salvador. And it is your turn. I will... Yeah, I think we, we keep rolling Sanctum here. So I'll fight. Uh, Master of the Grey, Assault, and then Damage. That'll get their Armageddon and Cloak this time. One. And Bulwark out the Shadow Smith. I'll go ahead and Bulwark the Francis as well, and then Reap the Corbinal. All right, my turn. Yep. Uh, I will put my archives in my hands, and I will say Sanctum. I am uh, going to play Seeker of Truth and draw, and I will have the Dino Knight kill Gorvanal. Um, and I will, uh, I guess I'll go ahead and Cleansing Wave. I'll try to engineer a larger one, it just wasn't coalescing. You guys don't take any damage when they fight, so. And your turn.
check with eight. Hmm. Yeah, Bulwark's Bulwark is an incredible card in this set. And when you start having multiple Bulwarks, things get ugly. I wonder if I just roll, roll Sanctum again. Roll to your guys and reap once, is what I would do. I think that's fine. So yeah, I'll say Sanctum. Fight, fight. Uh, forge. Yep. I am going to say Logos. I'm going to play Lethal Logica. Been here before. It's got Lethal Logica and just a pile of Logos guys. Yeah, I will play Lycobot, I will play Keo, I will play Cronus, and I will discard Infomorph. And it, your turn, I will draw. Good. Play Star Alliance. Uh, red alert for one. Me capture. Play of Algerico, do a damage, Cronus. Play Ensignal Samurai and draw. Play Play of the Land. Top three. Drawing at least. And I'll discard Scout Pete. Your turn. Three regular bulwarks? Probably. I think we do. Uh, I had a deck at Vault Tour Atlanta in Sealed that I think that had three bulwarks. And um, that was still relatively early in the game, right? Because yeah. Age of Ascension hadn't come out yet. And um, I just, like, stomped all over people because they would, like, go to fight a bulwark and be like, he's armor four. Hmm. And they're like, oh, uh, I'll go <laughs> fight the other bulwark. I'm like, he is also armor four. You know, just, and people are like, oh, wait. Hang uh, yeah. Oh, uh, this one has three in it. This deck right here, I believe. Yes, I think you yeah, had. I think in fact does. You had multiple decks that had three in them, like because uh, I remember the games where I'd lose to a, a sanctum board just and just the, the bulwarks are just trampling over people. Yeah. I have to take like hot shadows turn. Uh, I am gonna booby trap and kill the secret of truth. So shadows booby trap. Okay. I am just gonna pitch all these shadows creatures because I don't really want to give you a chance to. Play anything more. What's, what's the right call there? I don't know. I'll draw. And your turn. I'll say Sarian. I'll play a Faust. I'll discard Console Primus. I'll play Curse of Vanity. Discard Sarian Egg. Play use Captain Jericho. Play. Uh, 
bangs will hurt there of draw a card now I'll Sagittarius gaze the result they check with seven okay I will say logos I think I'm drawing dead here um I am going to uh reap with Lycobot um, I will discard Grey Rider and then draw. <laughs> I know on the uh, the Twitch app on Xbox One is so bad and it crashes all the time. Twitch is really bad at giving you work apps that work. It's it's, weird. it's really weird. It doesn't make sense. Yeah, you would think for the company that has like the fourth most internet traffic or whatever. I don't know if they still are, but you would think. I would imagine you, um, they would like figure out how to. Make it work. Uh, I am gonna play Lethal Logica. Let's see, Academy Training. Okay, uh, I guess Lethal Logica goes there. I will put Academy Training on Cronus. He's gonna reap. Double Logos. Uh, so he gets one and draw. I will lethal logica. Jeez. Is there a resident in there yet? I don't think so. I don't think so. I think all of the. I don't even think it has capture icons and logos is a problem. Ugh. Yeah, because I, I was doing I was in the exact same position in the game with that deck, I believe. Uh okay. I will Eclectic Angry! <laughs> Archive! And then I'll lose the game. Because right. I can't op operate this miasma bump. I got some other garbage in my hand. <laughs> all the logo oh, I guess I can Keo. Keo fights! Okay. Ooh, we, whatever it is, this deck doesn't have it. It does not have it, <laughs> that's for sure. I think I said a similar thing after the game I played with it. It draws a bunch of cards. Yeah, which is fun. Yeah. It does not control Amber. It does not win well. the game. It does not control Amber particularly well. And you're on cage, I'm on director. Okay. I believe those are both 1-1. One, one. Yes, these are fighting for a spot. All right. Play in game. Winning in. These are both cool, right? Yeah, they have stuff going this, for them. This deck is fun. This, this deck is fun, fun, I believe. Yeah, they're both, they both got cool stuff going on. This is the double Maverick deck, so that's just cool on its own. And Golden Spiral. Yeah, that new set, huh? It's too bad to run on Twitter for those React likes. We can post our actual responses to it. Yeah, we are um, Anxious Pirate. We were actually talking about that. Yeah, we watched it on stream. We watched, uh, we had a react stream here, so. Yeah, it's uh, certainly interesting. A lot of cool stuff going on. Really makes you think what they're gonna do for set six, right? Top this. They are topping themselves constantly. And they confirmed February, which is cool. Yeah, that's nice. Yep, no more, no more speculation about that. That's good. I was I was worried it was going to be at least a year. They're so. going to upload it to uh, YouTube, I think, soon. Yeah, it's supposed to be on YouTube. Um, you can get actually watch our VOD. Uh, if you go back about an hour or so, you can look for it because we, we watched it on this. So Yeah, we just have to end our stream. Yeah. <laughs> you can do that. Good news. Stream's almost over. Two more games to go. <laughs> I don't know how long it'll be before they get it to YouTube, but the short... Short uh, summary is there's a new faction called the Unfathomable who are taking the place of Dis in the set. It looks like the lineup is Star Alliance, Saurian Sanctum, Unfathomable, Untamed, Logos, Shadows. Yep. Um, 
there are evil twin decks. So the evil twin decks, um, so like if there is a deck called Cage the Proudly Garrisoned in the next set, somewhere out there there's a deck called... There could be. It, was it could guaranteed. be, yeah, it's not, it's not guaranteed, but um, an evil twin deck is generated for it, and it would be called Cage the Proudly Garrisoned Evil Twin. And there are evil twin versions of the cards that are in that deck. It's got the same lineup, except the evil twin versions of the cards um, have their own unique text on them that apparently, while powerful, still have drawbacks um, or something along those lines. Um, so um, the the unfathomable and this set cares about a uh, high tide, low tide, like on Valu Camp. Um, so how is it possible? How likely is it for you to get both? I would say probably unlikely. Probably almost. Yeah. Yeah. Um, they didn't say it was like in the same pack or anything. It's just like a chance that something, some deck out there has an evil twin. So very low. Yeah. And they're probably super rare. And it's going to, it's going to be one of those things where you go into decks at Keyforge and you type your deck name in it and, and you see evil the evil twin and you're going to be like, oh man. Yeah. So if you want to have both, you're going to have to pay. Yeah. You're gonna have to pay. It yeah, I, I can't imagine. I can't imagine it's cheap. Yeah, unless the deck is absolute garbage. But I mean, just for novelty's sake, I think you're gonna imagine up. opening like the the regular version of a deck, and somebody opens the evil twin, but they want to buy the regular version of the deck. Yeah, and then you know that person is like your unique market. Yeah, to sell to. Yeah, how does does that make your de the deck worth more because one person wants it? Right. 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 And it's only really worth that much to them, but does that mean it's actually even worth that much? Um, there's no competition for it. Yeah. But yeah. So you can mix and match the evil twin and the regular. One. I have no idea. I highly doubt it because no it'd be so rare to have both. Yeah. It could, be, it could be like a format where you, you know, at home, you I, do whatever you want. I mean, I do think the evil twin thing is like a really cool way to meet other people in that play the game. Yeah. Um, like that's a, um, I, I would love the storyline matches. I don't think it's right? going to pay off your student loans. <laughs> maybe, yeah. maybe, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what kind of student loans you got, but. If you have like $500 in student I, loans left, then yeah, you're good. Um... I got some magic cards that can chip away at student loan piles out there, but that's just magic. The good hope for whales, which is good for the financial feature of the game. Yeah, that's true. There are definitely some whales in Keyforge. It's like the Coke with names on it. Yeah, it's like that, but only one Coke exists with the name Justin on it. <laughs> <laughs> right. And some bee hole already drank it. <laughs> You gotta go. You gotta go punch them in the stomach until they throw up that coke, so that you can then buy it from them. Right. Yeah, maybe maybe uh, Keyforge could chip away at student loans in the long, in the long run. Play Elsemra. All right, I am going to say Sarian. I'm gonna play the Curse of Vanity and exalt her, and then I'm gonna play Sacrosaurus and exalt and shoot her. And your turn. I will draw three. I'll say Star Alliance. Play Lay of the Land. Oh my god, I put the exact oh wrong god, order. Dude, the worst have you ever order. used Sensei's Divining Top before? Come on, man. Not in real life. I did it on Magic Online. <laughs> I think that's actually harder. Yeah. I'll play Lay of the Land. Imagine it's like that. Oh, yeah, I would love... Yeah, I, a better point, uh, I agree, is that we should just uh, pay for people to go to college and not so they don't have to worry about loans. So. Draw. Play Hayden Oswin. Give her Blast Shielding. Give her Stealthster. Draw a card. Play Access Denied. Play Observe you, Max. Capture a uh, thing. Your turn. I will say Sanctum. I'll play Bulwark, Gorvanal, and Scrivener Fabian. And it is your turn. I will draw three. What the F was that draw, dude? It's time to say Star Alliance again. <laughs> play Explorer Rover. I'm going to reap with Hayden and get four. I, uh, I, one. I defy you. <laughs> Your turn. Um, K 
Okay, I'll say Sanctum. Uh, Bulwark's gonna fight Hayden. Uh, assault two to take down the armor, and she's elusive. And then I'll Gorvanal um, to kill. Uh, and then Scrivener Fabian's gonna reap. And go ahead. Christ. I will say Shadows. I guess a Forge. Play a Lucky Dice. Play a thief and draw. Play lights out. For these two. Oracle's Rizzo. Vandalize. Oh god. This game is so over. <laughs> I, yeah, I, this is an example of like I think a mass mutations game where um, uh, one deck is like creature heavy and the other deck isn't. And so I'm going to take my turn. I'm going to say um, Sanctum. I'm going to play Lieutenant Gorrell. I'm going to play Scrivener Fabian. And Bulwark's going to kill Reckless Rizzo. Um, and it's your turn. Because uh, I've had this stranded in my hand for multiple turns and it doesn't affect the board at all in yeah. any kind of meaningful way so i can't actually get to um i can't actually get anywhere i'll say sorry i'll play golden spiral i'll play curse of vanity Alt. Alt. I'll exile the Techno Thief. Patronage. Uh, just this. Do a damage. And I'll play Galatops. Okay. I will say Starlance. So I'm going to discard Kixel Stone. Uh, I'm going to play Crewman Yorg. I'm going to play Ensign El Samra. And I am going to play Scout Pete, who is going to just just discard Blast Shielding. I gotta like gotta get to do. I gotta get to something that does something. And it's your turn. I'll draw four. The shadows all mind fire. I swear to God, if you hit one card, I'm gonna lose my shit. Play Sucker Thief. I'm this, definitely getting that card. This stream will be unwatchable. <laughs> This I vow. If you hit, okay. <laughs> Uh, this I swear to you. Uh, I'll use lucky dice. Yeah. <laughs> that would have been sweet. All right, we're gonna see Star Alliance. I'm gonna crewman Yorg and steal one. Um. I am going to Ensign El Samra. I'm going to reveal a card from my hand. Uh, so I will gain one. I'm going to resolve this icon as a steel one instead. Um, I'll put this back into my hand. I am going to play red alert. It doesn't do anything, but it does have it, that icon on it, which I will use to steal from you. I'll take from you what you have taken from me. Uh, I will reap with Scout Pete. And uh ooh, that's too good. We'll leave it there. Okay. And it's your turn. I'll say check with eight. I'll oh, we'll draw two. Go ahead. God, banger alert. This hand is a banger. This is not a good Kixelstone deck. I think I played Kixelstone in this deck when we played uh when we were opening cards, and I was like, this is not a good Kixelstone deck. <laughs> At that time, so I did win with the Kixel Stone. I got that really bad deck, but uh, yeah, I'll, I'll say uh, I guess the deck that was like twenty four creatures. Or I'll something. say Starlines. I'm gonna red alert for six, six. Yeah. Okay. Uh, dead, 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 dead. That's yours. And then I'll Petrino flux these two. Okay. That's Here's yours. I will forge. Uh, 
actually flip my key. I am going to say Saurians. I'm going to play Sagittarius Gaze. I am going to play a Faust. I am going to play a Saurian Egg. And it is going to capture on itself, I suppose. I'm going to play a Console Primus. I was going to capture and I'm going to draw. And then I'm going to defense initiative the egg. I will exalt the egg and then word these uh, scaly fellows right there. And it is your turn. I will draw four. Okay. Say sorry, Ian. Play console primus. Play Faust. I'll stomp the Faust. I'll fight the Faust. I'll inspire all the primus. Deep. I guess you can put that on the Faust. Sure. And then yeah. kill the Faust. Your turn. Evil Twin also has a new symbol like for Legacy. Ooh, sweet. Ooh. The blue tokens are Ward tokens. Ward, yep, yep, yep. So Ward says the next time this creature would leave play or take damage, um, you remove the Ward token instead. Uh, so, all right, we are going to say... Uh, I'm going to Armageddon Cloak the Saurian Egg. Pretty good. I am going to Fangs of Gizzleheart the Galeotops. Um, and I will draw. I am going to play a Bulwark. And a Bulwark. And it is your turn. I'll say check with six. And I will draw three. The Shadows, I'll... Curse of Vanity. So I get one, I capture one, and draw a card. Oh, I could have used the Sorry Nug. Uh, I guess I didn't really want to there. I don't think I wanted to there, because I, I would have possibly discarded the ward. I think with two shadow mm, with yeah. two amber on it, I want the it warded and the Armageddon cloak. A little perplexing sophistry. Play Francis, play Rizzo. That secret needle. I shoot my Rizzo. Seven. Yeah. I'll just go seven. Okay. Your turn. I am going to say. Oh, yeah. Uh, exalt for vanity. I would exalt. No, I wouldn't exalt the Rizzo, obviously. I would exalt that. That. Okay. Uh, I'm going to say Sanctum. I'm going to play Seeker of Truth. I'm going to play Brain Glow. Uh, thank you for going to seven. I will. Same as going to six, but you just capture two. Here and there. Um. Oh, I thought it was. Uh, it's all but five. Okay. Yeah. 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 So it's uh, it's actually a little bit different than Gatekeeper because Gatekeepers if it, if they had yeah, seven, it, it can hit six. So yeah. Um. Okay. We'll start blowing up. Blowing up dumb dinosaurs, I think. Uh, this bulwark's gonna fly into Faust. And then this bulwark is gonna fly into Console Primus. And I will say uh, check with seven. And it is your turn. I will draw three. Say so sorry, and play Sagittarius Gaze. Some of those here. Yeah. Play Console Primus. Play Galeotops. Spiral the Reap with Primus. Put that up there. Play curious or say check with seven. 
Right. Forge. Okay. I am going to say Star Alliance. And we'll play Instant El Samra and draw. I am going to play Sensor Chief Garcia. He's cost plus two. I'm going to play Teleporter Chief Tink. And that's it. I will draw two. I'll say Star Alliance. I'll play Lay of the Land. Mortimus, how's it going? Neutrino Flux, Freeze, and Freeze and Fours. Okay. Um, so this, go, I'm gonna, so I can, your most powerful creature is four, so I can put that to this bulwark, and then that bulwark has that never destroyed trigger, so that would go here. Uh, this would go there. This is warded, that dies. dies. And the ward goes. Play Hayden, I gave her a blast shield. Okay, my turn. Yep. Um, I, I'm not sure what I can hit here. I'll play Shrix, uh, who's enhanced to draw a card. That doesn't do it. Um, yeah, I was gonna have to hit like Faust yeah, or something, Faust. but yeah, he's gone. He's already gone. Um, I did have Val. I, I didn't realize I had Val Jericho still left in the deck. Um, there might have been a situation where I could have hit like Val Jericho into Lay of the Land to yeah. play Faust or something wacky like that. But uh, the Hayden Oswin stuff at the beginning yeah, of the game was, was, was horseshit. Yeah. So. I know it was horseshit. You know it was horseshit. That's the viewers it know it was horseshit. It happens sometimes. Everybody here knows it's horseshit. This cage is actually eliminated. That's a shame. That was a cool deck. Uh, I think this deck is cool on the cooler factor. To be fair, that was a cool deck. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm just, I'm saying this deck was cool. <laughs> I'm just, it's I, not cool. You, enough. you had a horseshit draw, <laughs> so. Okay, game five, game six. I mean, yes, that's right, Kozlas. Um, it's just a one. Gregson the plated. You're on Everlasting of New Bay. Uh, Gregson is 2 0, Everlasting is 0 2. Now, Voltron's cool. It's just <laughs> draw, like, when you've drawn seven cards or whatever that Justin had at that point, and Hayden, Oswind, and I don't, I did not, I never played, when I played that deck, I did not play the um, Access Denied. Um, I think I played the Observe Max once. But uh, yeah, I did not even know the deck had that many Star Alliance attachments in it. Sure. It was ridiculous. Um, so. I, just, I had I had both Lay of the Lands. I mean, so. It's, so, I mean, the thing is, like, if you had drawn six Star Alliance cards there, Oh, you played both Lay of the Lands? Yeah. Okay, yeah, I mean, I, that that makes it more likely, but yeah. still. Um, the Lay of the Lands hit the other Lay of the Lands. That's what happened. Into another attachment or whatever, yeah. Yeah. But it's just, it's one of those where when you have a hand like that... Now, I, I, mean, I think uh, you could have done something similar in other houses, and it would have still it resulted in roughly the same amount of amber on like shadow has the potential to do that now yeah game. yeah or i mean or even like even saurians right because mm -hmm. you get a golden spiraled and move like your amber to my yeah, guys yeah. and exalted one of my dudes for a bunch so um it just it's the kind of thing that happens when you have a, like and it happens in q forge you'll start with um just an absolute banger of a hand um and you get pretty far ahead the problem was is that my draw lined up really badly against that um, because uh, I mean you like vandalized my smite you know um, just other things that I could have used to maybe um, deal with what you assembled there uh, but yeah it, it just lined up really badly uh, six nine seven you were first 
Yeah, I mean, well, my hand, my opening hand that game, and I think I mulliganed it. Um, I mulliganed that game. Uh, but my opening, my opening draw in the first ten cards, I had like you know eight creatures or something, right? So I just have to like play my stuff onto the table. And when your opponent plays a creature that it has two armor, elusive, um, you can't that. There are not a lot of things that just answer it right away, right? So, the being a two-two means that I couldn't kill it with damage from like the the Dino Mutants. Um, it's protected from Dark Wave. It's you know I could bounce it. Bounce would be a good answer there, but I didn't have Shadows in that deck. So, Red Alert doesn't do anything there since it's all on one creature. Just playing creatures onto the table in that situation is not an answer for that kind of thing. So, all right, I will say Sanctum. I am gonna play Seeker of Truth and draw. I am going to play Dino Knight. So this is actually tough because I have to. Just, uh, no, I draw before I can decide whether I use this ability. Okay, so draw. I am not using its ability. Is that the deck that has the Cleansing Wave in it? Or is this other one? Yeah, that has to be the deck with Cleansing Wave, right? No. Is this my deck? Yep. This deck over here? And this one. This one doesn't have Cleansing Wave. You're lying to me. You are lying to me. You, in front of all these people... It's on here. This deck has the Cleansing Wave. Okay. okay. Jeez. I've accused you in front of all these people of lying. <laughs> To me, in front of all these people. <laughs> and I'll play General Salvador, and I am going to play Equalize. Neither can't read confirmed. And it's your turn. I'll draw. Say Sanctum. I will play Champion. Play Bulwark. Play Dino Knight. I'll shoot the Seeker of Truth, and I'll Bulwark Assault it down. Well, been here before. I am going to say Shadows. I'm going to play Safe House. I am going to play Francis the Economist. I'm going to play Techno Thief. I'm going to Booby Trap. Um, I guess Joya. I think that's what does the most damage. Um, and it is your turn. I will draw four. Alright, I'll say Sanctum. I'll play a standard. Nope. I'll play a Xeno Knight. Oh, but this is what I'm talking about. This is this is the exact same thing. This, this is this is like drawing all the Star Alliance cards at the beginning of the game, right? This is a very similar thing where uh, if you if you just get six cards of the same house, it, it then, happens sometimes. So, that's yeah, that's I'm, how I'm, the game works. yeah, I know. I understand. I'm telling everyone <laughs> how the game works, Justin. They know how it works. They've watched the game be played the last two games. All right, and then I will. Uh, <laughs> I don't really want to damage any more creatures. Accusing with gusto equals truth. Cormac attack. I'll fight the Francis. Okay. He's dead. I'll reap three times. Sure. Okay. I will say shadows. Yeah. I will say shadows. I'm going to play a Miasma Bomb. I am going to play Nexus. I am going to play Francis the Economist. I am going to reap with Techno Thief, who is going to discard a card and draw a card. I no, can't reap. I cannot reap. You're right. Um, the Techno Thief um, will just sit there. Is it even worth attacking, just throwing away a guy? Um... I'm going to opportunist on the Dino Knight, so I'll get one. I got a capture token, I'll capture on Nexus, and then um, Dino Knight captures. Techno Thief, yeah, we'll fight Bulwark. At least I can take that off the table. And it is your turn. I, I'm not going to save house anybody. Go ahead. Or 
Remove Amber Creep, yes. Let's say Sanctum. Fight Nexus. So before fight, yep. slam those guys. Then Xeno Knight will fight Nexus. Mill the cards. Oh, I gotta put one in the bottom. Garden Hero. And break three times. Sure. Wait, I could do this. Do that. Okay. My turn. Yes. I am um going to say sanctum. I'm gonna play a uh, bulwark here. I am going to play a Techno Knight. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm going to do a damage to. Uh, literally, I guess I'll do a damage to Arden Hero. Uh, I'll play Techno Knight, who is going to capture one onto himself. I'm going to play a General Salvador. Uh, this General Salvador is going to fight. Um, champion Anaphil. So it's going to salt two and then do four, which will be enough to kill it. Um, and then Dino Knight is going to fight um, Barrister Joya um, to kill. And Joya will do three damage back. So, all right, so your turn. I will draw two. It's time for the Great Sanctum Brawl. <laughs> the Brawl for it all. <laughs> I'll say Sanctum. I will fight Bulwark with Golgotha. Okay. Splash damage. And he'll take two. I'll fight. There, it's elusive. Yep. Then I'll fight there. So it's mutant. And then this Dino Knight will fight the Techno. Okay. Take three. Your turn. Oh, it has one armor. That takes two. Right? Okay. Yeah. Because of the standard. Yeah. Okay. I am going to say Logos. I'm going to play Lethal Logica. I will play Lethal Logica. <coughs> Lethal Logica. Okay. I'll play these idiots. Um, I'm going to put Academy Training on General Salvador. Uh, I think I'll just reap with him and draw. And it is your turn. I will say check with eight and draw four. Forge. Uh, I'm going to say Shadows. I'm going to mug my Iron Knight. Okay. I will play mug for the Ember Bot. So one damage and then two. Okay. Play Incerator. Borrow. I'm just going to borrow this Miasma Bomb. Sure. I'll ransack. Okay. I'll steal another. Jesus Christ, if you hit another one, I swear to God. I'd set okay. that one up to be fair. Oh, okay, okay, gotcha. Because it's Xena Knight? Yeah. yeah, gotcha, gotcha. You hadn't said, you had only said Sanctum, so I was just expecting the, you just like flip your whole deck over. Just I was putting non Shadows cards on the bottom. I was, I was gonna like, 
I was trying to jump across the table yeah. and hit the instrument at the same time to uh, set up the drama. Your turn. Okay, my turn. Yep. Uh, okay, so I do forge. I was just, I just knew it was coming in my, I, uh, the, like it's the, the, I could just feel, feel all of that coming. All right, I am going to say Logos, I'll play Eclectic Inquiry, I'll archive the top two. I am going to play Keo and Infomorph. Um, I'm going to reap with Lycobots and discard a card. I will discard this awesome Techno Thief to draw a card. Um, Keo is going to kill the Ardent Hero and draw me a card. I'll play even Ivan. I'll action even Ivan to steal one. And it, it actually, I'll put even Ivan over there. Um, and it's your turn, and we pence. And I'll draw, and then shuffle and draw two. Oh, is Alvador? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, um, I don't know. I'll just reap and say the card that I drew was not useful to me. Okay. I don't. Uh, I don't know. Um, what I drew. Soul Forge. I'll say Sanctum. It's time to kill stuff again. Um, Golgotha is going to fight the Lycobot. They're ready to die. The pincing. Um, Dino or Xeno Knight will fight even Ivan. This one, because you're going to play Cleansing. Um, take. Dino Knight's gonna fight Zalvador. You need to use his ability. Oh, yeah, yeah. What's that, Zalvador? Two. My head cannon is coming alive. Oh. My head is gonna turn into a cannon. <laughs> And fire my skull Miss from the rest of my body. Golgotha and Ivan. Sweet. I love having no creatures. I love having a board of seven creatures. And my opponent not using an action to wipe the board to kill them all. Your turn. Okay, I am going to say... Um... I'm gonna say shadows. I'll play shoulder id and shadow smith, and I'll get pinced. And it's your turn. I'll draw two. Play logos. I'll effervescent. Play bot bookdens. Acumex. And I'll draw two. Your turn. Pince. Pinced. I guess I, I could play it there. Sure. Minimize the pincing. Okay. I am. Um, Sanctum absolutely fight better than Will's Clyde Brobnar did. A thousand yeah, percent. It, it's crazy. Yeah. It's a. Um, yeah. It's, it's legit insane how well they fight. to do all this dumb stuff. I don't want to do this dumb stuff now. I want to I guess I'll take this turn. I'll say shadows. I'll play Francis the Economist. I'll play Techno Thief. I'll capture on Francis. Um draw two. Uh and I draw. Okay. I will Oh you gotta pencil the end of my turn, right? 
Yes, so they are pinced. Um, well, I'll just reap twice. And it is your turn. I will draw. I'll say... And pence. I'll say logos. I'll effervescent. Okay. And pence. I'll reap with Oakton. For free markets. Okay. So one, two, three. No, uh, just two. Two? Just two. Shadows, logos. Yeah. This is a bad match for that. Yeah. The same houses, yeah. Uh, Reap with Bookton. Or Alice. She'll go. And I will be done. Okay, we pence. Okay, and I'll put my archives in my hand, and I am going to say, um... Yeah, I got the chain. I am going to say Logos... I'm sorry, Sanctum. Oh, I had a max, but... It's, it's kind of too late, so I'll just leave it there. Okay. Um, I will say Sanctum. I'm going to play Commandeer. Um, and using its capture icon, I will capture on the Shadow Smith. Um, I am going to play General Salvador. Yeah, okay. I'll play General Salvador and then um, uh, is this better? This, how do I do this? Play Seeker of Truth. Play Seeker of Truth and draw one. And then capture on shoulder in. Um, so I can Ray Rider the Seeker into Alice, both take one. No, you've got a Gizzle Heart standard. Um, fine. Uh, Secret Truth goes into Squire Alice. Um, I am. You can fight with something else. Yes. Uh, Frankie is going to fight Squire Alice to kill. We'll both gain one. Um, okay, and I did a capture for the Grey Rider. Okay, so I'll capture onto, I guess, the Seeker, sure. Um, all right, now I am going to Cleansing Wave. Um, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Six, seven, eight, okay. Seven, eight. Okay. Um, that lets me capture, capture. Oh god. On to the techno thief. Sure. Uh, I'll play a squire Alice, um, who will capture, and then I'll play a general Zalvador. Okay. Your turn. I'll say check with twelve. Um, we pence, and I'll draw three. Okay. I realized why this deck sucks. <laughs> I know that turn was like really, really good. This deck sucks. Uh, it's because this deck is like 45 Shadows creatures. Oh, yeah. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 Shadows creatures. I'll say Shadows. I'll use the bomb. Thank you. I'll Dark Wave. Okay, so the monk, one there, two there, Frankie's dead.
there was a Mug the secret tree. And it's Okay. Don't forge because of the things. Um is this does this have to be a logos turn so that I can draw something that maybe answers you? I think I have to take a logos turn here. It's garbage, but I think that's what I have to do. Uh, I will, mm, or do I just fight you off the table? Can you generate enough amber if I fight you off the table? Can I fight you off the table? Um, it's an excellent question. I guess I'll say Logos. Um, whatever it is. It. Shadow is about the same. Um, is it just logos? Uh, you have to do something crazy like say shadows and then use safe house on Squire Alice. You know, something absolutely unhinged and deranged. Um, I guess I have to... I'm going to go with Sanctum. I think I kill the most creatures with Sanctum. So I'll play Dino Knight and I'll draw. Okay. I will... Um, exalt... Dino Knight to shoot for three. Um, Xeno Knight. I will reap with Alice. And then Salvador fights Bot Bookton. Uh, and in the turn, we pence. I'll say check with 13. There you go ahead. I'll say shadows. I'll look over there to steal one. I'll play Francis Pinch Cloak. Your turn. So pinch that guy. Yeah. I'll forge. Uh, I think I'll lose because this deck doesn't. This deck has like commandeer, and that's literally its only amber yeah. control. Uh, I will say shadows. I'm going to reap with techno thief. I will discard a card. I'm going to discard this Cronus. Elusive on mutants. Oh yeah, because uh, all create all mutants have elusive. Because uh, the yeah, guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't think that would have mattered, right? I would I like you fought Bach booked in. Um Yeah, but I mean would you have said logos on the following turn? I might have, but Yeah, it, I don't think I don't think it matters. I think I lose this game anyway. Yeah. I think even cheating I lose this game. Because I, I just re end up reaping with these guys and okay. not doing anything else. Your bot your one Bach booked in dies. Mm -hmm. Um the Dino Knight still dies. I don't fight other off the other bot booked in. I still have a General Salvador out there. Yeah. I mean, if you can't um, stop this key, it doesn't matter. Uh, well, how much were you at? Because I you actually couldn't kill this thing then. But I would have generated. Could you had other ways to with, generate uh, number? logos. I could have friend. Gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha. Gotcha. I can't stop you. The gotcha. point is, the point is, there's no way in this deck to stop keys. So. Um, because I had lethal logica, and I could reap with the book then. So. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah. Yeah. That'd get there. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, this deck is infuriating to play. I'm really mad I had to play it twice. <laughs> It's not great. Two plated, yeah. It's too many plates in the way. Gregson's pretty strong. Did it go 3 0? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, yeah see? Uh, also, the turn, I forgot to play the QMAX. I think I was drawing into Sacrobot. Gotcha. Gotcha. But I wasn't 
hundred percent. I mean, the the sanctum start that you had, you had, you literally had guys that you played on turn two that were still in play at the end of the game. Yeah, and that's always like a that's always a bad sign for the other deck when you can't kill guys that have been in play the entire game. So, yeah, that that is that is like my least favorite style of mass mutation deck that exists. It's like, uh, let me see how many guys are in here. I'm not dropping this. Oh, it's like heavy shadows yeah. guys. Yeah. It's just heavy dudes, yeah. right? Like, let's let's count. So there's a lot of, uh, they're, they're not even impactful. They all have like fight abilities or some, there's like an occasional reap ability. If they have play effects, that's different. Well, there's like two of them have like exalt them to do things effects. Yeah. Jeez. 25 creatures <laughs> um yeah. yeah so you just you get these hands where it's like okay i'll go play some dudes and, and and like the the stuff the decks that played against it's like and let's let's look at the the average power on them fours it's like fours and threes across the board threes fours it's like quintrino flux four three <laughs> three fours Four, four and three. Quintrino Flux kills so eighty percent of the creatures. Yeah, and I think that's what happened in the game yeah, where I played Quintrino Flux, right? Yeah. Um, so uh, yeah, you got this guy can't even fight. This motherfucker right here can't even fight. Um, and then uh, you have this Gray Rider who is just not great in this deck, right? Yeah. Um, everything's so, so weak. Except yeah. For the Sanctum stuff. So you, you just have this pile of very mediocre creatures. This this what happened in AOA all the time, mm -hmm. right? Like you'd have a deck that was pretty high. This in is pictures. worse uh, than AOA. I think. I, I think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you're um you're you have blank, uh blank, ha blank half the time. Yeah, literally half the blank. Time. Um, honestly, Q is blank a lot. Yeah. Uh yeah, you you have you have four count them four dudes who have to fight to use their effect. And that's right um, power. And yeah, it's just oh man, it's just infuriating um to play a deck like this cuz your guys aren't big enough to stick on the board. Yeah. Um and you're just playing cards from your hand and like making literally no choices. So, anyway. Yep. That's done true. ranting about it. These two advance 3021 director P fall mark and Gregson the plated green on the gray scale is fifty percent, so that's pretty good. Mm. Pretty good showing. Um, yeah, yeah. Thanks for watching. That was a fun react stream. We got to yeah, yeah, yeah. New set hype. We got new set hype. We get to fun. build hype for that cage was mine, right? Yeah. Um, so it is banished to the unplayable. Check out the Eddie cam or outroing. Yeah. Uh, we'll be back on Friday for a bonus stream. You heard it yes. here. Second. Uh, one Friday for bonus stream. One one without clickbait. No clickbait, just Keyforge, just, just serious key, Keyforge. All just Keyforge. Until we finish with the pod. Uh, yeah, Dark Tidings. Dark Tidings to you. Pod I. Dark Tidings to all. Pod I, yes. Where pod, we have pod I. the one who listlessly concocts circuits, the pessimistic aberration of Oldberg, Prowler, Dark Hoof, the unscrupulous monk, and Kano Drab, Gaswami, Kudravi. <laughs> oh, that's where the pronounce Oh, yes, yes. <laughs> Got some classic first run Coda print unpronounceable names. Yep. I love them. I'm, so... I'm, I'm glad it's back. All right. Well, it's time to I'm go. Glad go, it's back. Let's go hit Twitter with these React pictures. React pics. Where's Zach? Uh, Meg, you're still there. Tell Zach to make gifts of our Reacts. Yeah. Because <laughs> we need those. So. All right. Thanks for watching, everybody. Come back Friday. Yeah. Hop in Discord if you're not on Discord. Mods. Yeah. Dude. Lord Farquaad. Farquaad. Stormstrom. They're, they're not even here, are they? They're yeah. not even here to react. If you don't, I'm firing you. You're unmodded. Unmodded. Oh my gosh. Okay. What are the Code Red. Oh, it's promoted. Sounds like he's one to get promoted. Yeah. <laughs> we have a strict Sith code of conduct for they're mods. Good, they're There's only two. The only way to become a mod is to betray a current mod. You have to strike down. You have to strike down a current mod. Past mods. Um, and become one. So, all right. If you're if you're still watching on YouTube, please hit the subscribe button. Please. Yeah. Please do it. Yeah. Just, just hit it. Just it's so easy. I mean, if you want to watch our stuff again, I guess. So if free. you don't want to watch our stuff again, that's fine. Yeah. But I understand. If you don't want to watch us, why are you watching us right now? <laughs> In literally the least content. <laughs> yeah. Part of our stream. Um.
Okay, that's all we got. Yeah. Everyone have a great night. Oh man, we gotta make evil twin costumes <laughs> when the set comes out. Then we have to shave our beards. I know. That would well, be we're the evil twins! <laughs> oh shit. Then we're the evil twins, Justin! <laughs> oh god. Oh, oh no, the good oh. versions of us are gonna come! <laughs>